What's up YouTube, it's Jackal Gold Kick, and in this video, I'm going to be giving my thoughts on the rapper Royce to 59 Now when it comes to Royce to 59 I think he's an alright, decent rapper. I think he's really good at rapping, he's a pretty good lyricist, he can put lyrics together really well, and he does have a really good flow, you know, he's good at rapping. But when it comes to Royce to 59s music, I'm not the biggest fan of it. I think Royce to 59 has a really bad track record when it comes to most of the music he's made and i've heard a decent amount of his music you know because he's associated with eminem he's from detroit as well so he has that stuff going for him but i just think his music has a really bad track record i mean there's a few songs that i do like by him i like the song we deep with trick trick i think that's a pretty good song i don't mind the auto tune he uses on the chorus the production on there is really good it's a really good street hype type of song with trick trick and it's a solid enjoyable song with good production I like his song Security. I think that's a really good proof tribute song that he did. I actually prefer his proof tribute over what Eminem did on Recovery with your with your um, with your Never Over, though difficult's decent. But I really like Security. That's a good pr proof tribute song and a really good emotional song with a great chorus, great production, great rapping and lyrics and flow from Royce. That's a solid track. Probably my favorite song by Royce of Five Nine is Security. That is a great track. I also like, you know, the Rock City single with Eminem. That's pretty good. You know, good hook from Eminem, good rapping from Royce, good production. I like the song Boom. I like the song Caterpillar with Eminem. That was a really good song. Him and Eminem just had really good energy on the song, and they were great together. I like a lot of his music with the uh, Bad Meets Evil group he's done with Eminem on the Hell the Sequel album. A lot of the songs did that, like, fast lane and stuff is dope stuff. But when it comes to most of Royce to Five Nine's music, I don't really care for it. You know, I've heard a decent amount of his music. I have. I've heard, you know, some of his tracks off various albums and various mixtapes, and I just think he has a really bad track record because most of his music, I don't really care for. And I think the problem with a lot of his music is a lot of times, mostly, it's the production. I think the production is the biggest problem with a lot of his music. I think he could do with having much better production, much better beats to choose for songs to make them more interesting and enjoyable. And sometimes the flow can be a problem where sometimes it has felt off, you know, if you get what I'm saying. So one of the problems has been the flow sometimes where it's like off and on beat sometimes. But, you know, the biggest problem with Royce to Five Nines music is the production. I think he could do with having much better beats because like I said, Royce to Five Nine, he can rap really well. You know, he's got a good rap voice. He has a really good flow. He can rap really well. He's a good lyricist. He can put lyrics together really well. And he does have some songs here and there that I don't mind that I like. You know, Security's really good. Trick Trick's really good. Or not Trick Trick. Security's really good. We Deep with Trick Trick's really good. Rock City with Eminem's really good. Boom's really good. I like Caterpillar. You know, so a lot of the stuff he did with Eminem on the Bad Meets Evil Hell, the sequel album, is really good as well. You know, and the song on Slim Shady LP, you know, Bad Meets Evil, the song they did on Eminem's SSLP album, that's a good track as well. So Royce to Five Nine does have some songs that I do like and I think are really good tracks, but most of his music I don't really care for. I can't really get into most of his music and a lot of his projects. I just think he has a really bad track record, and a lot of the times I just think while he's a really good rapper and he's really good at rapping on the mic, I think a lot of his music is just a lot more consistently not good rather than consistently actually good. He's got a few all right track, not a few all right, but he's got a few really good songs that I enjoy. But for the most part, Royce to Five Nine is not someone I, like he's not a favorite of mine. You know, I don't like a lot of his music, but I like a few tracks by him. But I just think he has a really bad track record when it comes to his music. And I think he could do with having better music. And I think what would make his music better is having much better production and much better beats. I think a lot of the beats he chooses really aren't that great and they don't make for enjoyable songs. He has kind of the same problem that Joel Ortiz has that I talked about in my thoughts video on Joel Ortiz. Joel Ortiz, his biggest problem is production. And that's the biggest problem as well with Royce to Five Nine is while he's a really good rapper and while he has some good things going for him like being associated with Eminem, having some good songs that I did like, for the most part, the biggest problem with his music and why he has a bad track record is his production. I think he could do with having much better beats, much more interesting beats to pick to make more enjoyable music, you know, because it feels like he doesn't pick the best beats ever. And I think, I just think Royce of Five Nine is someone that while he can rap really well, I think he could do with crafting much better music and having much more of a consistent track record of better music by also focusing on not only rapping, but focusing on making 
um, enjoyable tracks, enjoyable music as well, and making sure the music matches up with his rapping, and making sure he picks a lot better beats and a lot better production, and, you know, have the flow be on point. But my biggest problem with Royce Five9's music has always been the beats. I just think he needs to pick better beats, but I do like some songs by him, so I would say he's an alright, decent rapper. So those are my overall thoughts on Royce Five9. I think he's a decent, alright rapper. He's not one of my favorites. I don't think he's one of the best of all time, but I think he's all right. He's got some tracks I don't mind that I think are really dope. Security's my favorite song by him. I just think most of his music isn't really that great, and he has a really bad track record. I just think he could do with having, you know, having a better track record of making better, more enjoyable music and using much better beats and much better production. You know, get Dr. Dre to produce this stuff, or even Eminem to produce this stuff, or even Mr. Porter pro to produce this stuff, or even like Timbaland, you know? I think Royster 5 9 can do with having a better track record of good music because he's a good rapper, but his music doesn't line up with being a good rapper, and I think that's unfortunate. I think he has a lot of wasted potential, and I think he could do with having a better track record and better music, and he should improve that by making more enjoyable music and making more songs, like whatever he did with Security or Fastlane or any of those good songs, whatever he did with those tracks and make them enjoyable and good, he should do that and have that energy for the rest of his music so he can actually make classic albums and he could just be a standout artist with amazing music. And that's what Royce to 5 9 should do to improve his track record and actually make good music instead of just having a few okay, instead of just having a few good songs and really only shining and being at his best when he's with Eminem. You know, because the best project he did was with Eminem, Hell the Sequel, you know? Because most of his albums I've heard and projects. I didn't really care for most of them, and I didn't really care for most of the music I heard by him. I just think he's better at rapping, but when it comes to music, he's not really that great at it, and I think he could do with having a better track record, you know? So those are my overall thoughts on Royce to 5 9 That's really all I have to say. One more thing I will say is, one thing I do disagree with that I have seen a lot out there about Royce is a lot of people tend to say that Royce to 5 9 is underrated. I heavily disagree with that because while he is a really good rapper, his track record or the kind of music he makes just doesn't line up with his skill. You know, he's very skillful when it comes to rapping, but I think his music could be a lot better. And I think how his music could be better is picking better beats. You know, having producers like Timbaland and Dr. Dre and Eminem and even Mr. Porter would help, you know. Get Dr. Dre to produce a few albums. Get Eminem to produce a few albums. Get Mr. Porter to produce a few albums. Get like Timbaland to produce a few albums. Hell, even get Shaw Money XL to produce a few albums. He produced a lot for G-Unit. You know, get better producers. Get some better beats. And make more enjoyable music. And whatever you did to make good songs like Caterpillar and Fastlane and like Boom and Security, do that for the rest of your music. And do that for the rest of your albums. And he could really improve his track record if he would do that stuff. But as it stands, Royce to 5 9 he's a decent rapper. He's really good at rapping and he's really skillful. When it comes to his music, it's not the best ever just a few songs i like but for the most part i don't care for most of his music and the reason for that the biggest problem with him as an artist is his production and a lot of his beats so that's really all i have to say about royce of five nine overall and like i said the thing i've seen out there where people said he's underrated i do disagree with that because yes he's skillful but his music isn't consistently good enough to be underrated in my opinion and maybe the reason he's unknown or in a position to be called underrated is because his music isn't good enough for him to overcome that, if that makes sense. Because, I mean, he's worked with Eminem a ton, who's a big rapper, and yet he can never get as popular or as big as Eminem or have huge hit songs like Eminem has had. And I think it's because himself and the kind of music he makes just doesn't really line up with, you know, with when he works with Eminem and his skill as well. But, yeah, that's all I really have to say about Royce of 5'9". Those are my overall thoughts. Peace.